Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Evil Genius. This be part 23, I believe, of our Let's Play. And in the last episode, we really just got a lot of our busy work done. We, we smashed out some acts of infamy, we got our Dirk Masters, has finally appeared. And uh, we basically hit, like, we, or oh, sorry, we have hit all of Smash, all of Saber. Um, which just leaves us the other three to do. I'm thinking we might hit Anvil next, and and go on a bit of a, a bit of a reign of terror. Although Patriot does have the painting. But what I'm thinking is that I I believe I believe Jet Chan's elimination quest has probably started in the background. So I really should, like, get that done uh, as soon as I can. Just to reduce the number of, uh, you know, super agents that are running around trying to kill me. That's another armed forces squad. Okay. Uh, right, that's fine. We'll just run our boys up this way. Still bothers me that I can't, like, just select them without having to zoom to them. I want him. There we go. Well, I guess Jubei doesn't really have to. He can just teleport in. He's good like that. Uh, but that looks like the only big squad on our, uh... On our cards. Also, sorry, at the end of the last episode, we did unlock the Gold Enhancer, which we researched. So I'm going to throw that down. I believe it just makes stealing better. Increases uh, value of your income by a small percentage. Yeah. Doesn't really do much, but you know, doesn't do nothing. Okay, there we go. So the other three are coming now. So maybe if we divert them up this way. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just trying to just trying to kind of hold them here. Oh wow, that's not going well already. We've yet to, to take one out. Oh no, we did kill one, sorry. Yeah, we really didn't get him in a big group like we kind of want. There's still too many of them that can shoot. Oh, actually, they're pretty weak, though. Okay, this guy's just straight up running away. See, this is... This is probably about the point where I would, uh... Oh, okay, they're just gonna run away. Yeah, there they go. Yeah, this is probably about the point where I would normally have them, like, fully equipped with guns, my minions, so that that kind of thing doesn't happen. But, as I've been informed that it does make their stats drop a bit quicker, I've never really noticed it before, but it, it sounds like something that would make sense. Ah, radio loudspeaker, that's actually really good. Yeah, actually, let's just kill those guys. They're, they're in a bit deep. Um, yeah, so if we get the security radio speaker, it actually goes through walls. It just has, like, a fixed diameter, which is kind of helpful. I mean, obviously, this one transmits a lot further. But if there's a lot of small rooms... Wow, we are nearly out of money. If there's a lot of small rooms, like, for example, over here, or actually a better one... Obviously, I won't actually put one down. They're kind of unnecessary at this point. But, like, here, you know, I can cover, like, 
two rooms with that. But, yeah, no. Uh, unless you have a lot of very small rooms in your... In your base, it's not really super useful. They are good in corridors, actually. Because you can obviously put it out in the corridor and have it transmit into the room next to the corridor as well. So, like, instead of putting it in here, I could just put it on this corridor. And I'd get everyone in this area and all the people inside. Which is, in some ways, a lot better. Uh, low loyalty. Ah, yeah, that's fine. It's just a worker. Who cares? Uh, we will drop the recruitment there, though. Because that's costing me a lot of money. Oh, good. These guys decided they wanted to go into the into the secret death passage. Oh, they turned around. Bummer. It's the only downside. Okay, that's, that's a bit more of a problem. Take him out. Thank you. Yeah, so the problem with the traps going off, like, all the time is that they, uh, they do sort of block people from actually going into them. You know, they have to have pretty good timing to walk in here without triggering these, like, making a wall, because they don't walk into it if it's already going, obviously. Oh, this could be the chance. No. Just short. Can I go in there now? Yes! Okay. One of them is trapped, at least. Okay, well, one of them's trapped, which I believe means that they are more likely to let the other one get trapped, because they do tend to hang out together, the, the agents. So if one of them's trapped, the other one shouldn't go far. I'm guessing that was the one that wanted to get out. Yeah. Uh, okay, we'll just go boom boom. Since I have no idea. And I don't really have the money to pay for the research incentives. You can come out. You probably only, like, just went in there, didn't you? I oh, know, he's been there for a little while. Okay, so there's all our guys there. Okay, we need to do some thievery, but I'm kind of trying to wait until Saber's, Saber's heat burns off. Which, uh, it's taken a sweet time. It's taken a sweet time. <clears throat> okay, there's the next... Next group of soldiers. Yes. That is right. Indeed. Baby. Uh, you... Uh, actually, you guys should probably go there. My bad. Uh, d -d 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 there he is. It's kind of hard to see him. And Neuroside. You go here as well. Alright, we might go back to the previous plan again, where what we'll do... ...is get all these guys to just sort of hang out close. Oop, just... Here. Nope, oh, they've already been spotted. Okay. I'm gonna pause. Because I am going to teleport Jubei in the middle of everyone. And then gash one up. Do something like this, just so everyone knows that they want they need to attack. There we go. Okay, those ones are all attacking him in melee, which is what we want. Also, I should upgrade some of these guys. We know uh, Jubei can. Uh, not Jubei. Um, Eli Barracuda is ready for an upgrade. Yeah, okay, they're, they're absolutely stuffed. There's too many in melee. The The gun is the only advantage they've got. And they they just squandered it. Okay. Uh, we'll give you super headshot. 
Ghetto Posse is worth more, not quite as useful in my opinion, and he can actually get both anyway. Right? There we go. So he's got both. Uh, Neuroside, you've got both. Okay, you don't have both just yet. Uh, you do. We'll go Puppetry. Way more expensive. Is actually quite good. And I believe it does also upgrade their stats as well. Like, I think when they level up, they get slightly tougher. Which is part of the reason that Jubei is so monstrously, like, unkillable. Wow, oh, how'd you guys get out? I had one of them get out anyway. I know they got caught, like, really close to the edge, but still. You think they'd, uh... You think they'd be stuck there forever? Oh, well. Okay, how's that heat looking now? Uh, still really high. Okay, I, I think we just need to, like, prep. We are still missing a lot of spin doctors. Hmm... <laughs> okay. Um, I will send... Oh, he's a scientist. I want you guys like this. Like that. Obviously that did just dump off like all of our... Uh, all of our quantum physicists, but they train relatively quickly. I, I don't think we'll miss them. Not really. I'm still trying to get out. Fair enough. What do we got here? Small soldiers. Ah, uh, which is a problem because they have spawned right there. Shit. Man, oh man. Right you off. Me done. Where are you guys going? What are you doing? And where's Neuroside? Is she already out here? No? Neuroside, there. Whatever want. Crack open the okay, hang on, we'll do this again. Uh, not you. Oh shit, actually, he's not quite done yet. He's not quite done... ...done reinvigorating his skills. I think that's everyone, right? Yeah, and then Jubei. Alright, oh, you guys are working at the hotel, that's why you're all running like that. Right, well that's okay. There's a whole bunch of nasty people coming up behind you. I love the idea they're gonna rock up on an island, like walk into a hotel and just shoot all the workers. Forces of, quote, justice. <laughs> yep, they're going in. Which means they are absolutely just going to go in and shoot up the place. Yep, there they go. <laughs> wow. Wow. That is so dodgy. Um, right. You... Uh, who doesn't have an attack order? You don't. And you don't. Man, listen to the gunfire. Also, it kind of doesn't matter, like, if they're gonna shoot these guys, that's their mistake, because Jubei's one of, like, the highest damage dealers, so... They're really dumb. Oh wow, I think that guy just got out. Wow, and so did that one. That's... odd. Oh well. Doesn't really matter. We are making a fair bit of money, actually, which is not too bad. Providing... Oh, right, because you're the, you're the second one. 
Okay, are we good with Saber yet? Okay, we are we are getting good with Saber. Jesus. What, what an effort. Three teams of, of crack marines came in and tried to tried to knock us out. Jeez. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. How do we go on minions there? Okay, we lost a few valets, a couple of spin doctors, but Spin Doctors I'm not too worried about. Valets are a bit more annoying. Uh, but we do have the extra training facilities for them now. So I guess Spin Doctors are going to be the problem. But like... The problem with Valets is anytime any of these three lose people, Valets get used. Whereas like with Spin Doctors, only Playboys and Diplomats... Sorry, only Playboys and Diplomats need Spin Doctors. So it's like... Playboys and Spin Doctors don't tend... Sorry, Playboys and Diplomats don't tend to die that often. So I don't really care. Um, but Spin Doctors apparently just die all the time. Between Spin Doctors and Valets, they're just always dying. Okay, and we've left like 50 body bags in the in the hotel. Awkward. Yep, well, he's gone. Oh, that's another Ming vase. Ming the Worthless. Okay, you should probably hide there. Yeah, now I am pretty sure it's this region that has the Jet Chan elimination mission. But I'm not 100% sure. Oop. Biochemist has low loyalty. What are, what are you doing? Uh, no, that's not arresting him. That's that's just kind of running in front of him. Look, I don't mean to question your method. But just running in front of someone doesn't really capture them. Just kind of gets in their way. Doesn't even really get in their way. They just run through you because it's a video game. So... Not sure what you were going for. Just saying it's crap. Maybe I need to put another body bag. Like, I'll, I'll put a, uh, put a, um, a little shack out here somewhere. And, uh, set up a body bag in it. Probably should. I don't know what unlocks the optional objective for him. Alright, we did complete that one. We did complete that one so I can minimize those. Siberian Research Lab. Actually, let's look for that. Where are biochemists? We'll send a couple of them on the job. And I think when we hit Patriot for, like, all their stuff, we'll probably just take their... take their mercenary scientists. Although we could take... We could take the Sable one. And I say that because... I say that because Saber still doesn't have a super agent, which is pretty important to note. Saber saboteurs... Okay, I think they've run out of, like, super high-grade soldiers temporarily. Like, for the moment, they don't have super high-grade soldiers. Which is good. Which is very good. I wonder if I could have, like, moved this door over to the edge here and set up the trap system here. Nah, it's probably just, just too big. Because, like, this is the problem. The fact that they walk through here is a bit of an issue. If I put a door here... Well, that stop them getting out because they would have to. They would have to unlock it. It would probably stop them getting in as well, though, because they would like open a door, see another door, and just go, Ugh, and just never go in. That's what I'm kind of concerned about. But maybe that is an option.
because it would definitely stop them getting out. Oh, it's Dark Masters. Excellent. Such patriotic music. Okay. We're gonna want to weaken him because he is a pit bull. Uh, he will just attack everyone. I'm getting you gone. <laughs> Damn it. You hide, you hide. Okay, so they just did a big crackdown. Wow. I. <laughs> with Dirk Masters on the field, that high security door breach could be because he breached it with explosives. So he's basically a. Soldier Cross Saboteur. Sort of. The, um. Super agents always kind of boil down to just being like a double class. In a way. Uh, like... Mariana Mamba, she's like a saboteur investigator. Um, Dirk Masters, he's a saboteur soldier. Um, Katarina Frostanova, I believe is like an infiltrator. Uh, infiltrator investigator. Jet Chan, he's like a soldier investigator. And Dirk... It's not Dirk Masters, it's... Uh, John Steele, I think it is, the Sable one. He's a, uh... He's a... Infiltrator Saboteur, basically. So yeah, they, they pretty much... If you really boil it down, their behaviours can pretty much be attributed to, like, just a dual class. More or less. Uh, can I just get... You to come down here and deal with that? You do that. You do that. Okay, you can plot again. Okay, he's plotting. That's good. So we need a mercenary scientist. We could just go straight for the Patriot one. I think we might. So I need five valets to... Sorry, five workers. Two valets, two spin doctors. I'll start with that. I'll try not to go over the top. Right, you guys are saboteurs. That's okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try not to go over the top, and so the Patriot doesn't hate me. Because we don't need more hate at the moment. There, there's plenty enough hate in the world for me right now. I think we're all tapped out on hate. Well, actually, they don't super hate us anymore. They're getting over it, and they don't really care. It's mainly just Saber. And they're, they've gotten past the bit where... Really? Okay. Look. Look. That... That golden hand cell was quite expensive. Bit of a dick move. 80 grand. Where are my henchmen? There. Can you guys just come and... Kill these boys. Please. There we go. They opened the door. That was a mistake. Okay, yeah. That, that, that problem's about to solve itself. Yeah, you should really, like, confuse him before he gets inside the base, because, uh... That's gonna actually be a legitimate problem. Okay, there's enough... Enough social minions out there now that it should be okay. Um, you're back to plotting. Good. Might even pull you guys out of there and send you over here. I don't think... I don't think... The elimination mission is is in Southeast Asia. I think it's in Central, or sorry, North China. That's Central, yeah. Which makes sense, because, you know, it's, it's Central. <laughs> yeah, okay, see, he's just gone for the attack. Oof. Oof, big oof. Though you will notice, he was, at least for the most part there, 100% happy. Oops. Ah, Valley doesn't like it. What do you do? 
Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Yeah, like he was he was a hundred percent happy. He had no heat, no nothing, he just decided to attack that valet. And that's what he does, and that's why I don't want him in my base. She even these guys are attacking everything. What are you... Wow, that was like the three stooges. That moment where you have to go and grab the fire extinguisher off the wall to put out the fire extinguisher thing on the wall. Uh, henchman. These guys are, like super aggressive. I I don't know why. It's quite weird. Quite weird. Don't know why they're so aggressive like that. Oh, cool. They they turned him back into a like civilian. They they cleared his his thingy. Actually, I have enough social minions now. I probably should just like straight up weaken everyone I come past. Uh, can we send Montezuma? Okay, we, we need to send an actual thing here. So let's send four, we'll send four of these, we'll send like two of these. Actually, we'll send six of those. And hopefully that'll be enough, and hopefully they won't absolutely hate me for that. Uh, you guys should hide. Oh, I found the mercenary scientist. Not quite what I wanted. But nevertheless, uh, cheers. Hmm. Okay. That guy's also going to have to go. Alright, but our, our trap is making us decent money. It's not a fortune. But as long as we don't incur any like particularly massive expenses at a particularly given time, it should be okay. You know, obviously if we suddenly have to, like, replace... If if this gets blown up or something and we suddenly have to replace, like, 50 million uh, power generators, then we're in trouble. But if it's just sort of general expenses, like we're just chucking some, you know, security cameras down or something, that's, that's okay. We can afford that. Cool. Right, so you guys are in hiding, waiting, biding your time. I keep seeing this and thinking it's like the thing here. Um, actually, is there a martial artist there? Interesting. I thought it was. I thought they were like one here, one. Here, but I guess that makes sense. Eh. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, we seem to have psychologically weakened them pretty hard, so that sort of problem should, I think, solve itself. No, uh, no guarantees, obviously, but hopefully. Wait, how do we get two in here? How are the tourists getting in? Like, I understand the investigators, they bust open the door, but why are just single tourists getting in? And why is it always the male tourist? Why are they so dumb? I'm very confused. Why, why are the male tourists so dumb? Uh, that must be the Codex of Knowledge. Yep. Awesome. That's what I want. That's what I want. Okay, Biochemist, you can come home. I literally only wanted you there to find the Codex of Knowledge. So what do we need for that again? Five workers, five guards, two mercenaries. That's not too bad. 
It is a risk seven for seven minutes though, which is brutally long. It's gonna need so many science minions to bring that down to like four minutes. Ah, oh, right, and Katarina's here as well, so she could decide to pop in for a visit. Ugh. That's not great. Oh, you guys need to go back to hiding, I think. Actually, so just alternate between stealing. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Ugh, there we go. Yeah, at this point, I'm sort of just hoping to burn burn all the time those guys have here. It is sort of meaning that my social minions are doing sweet fuck all, because they're all like... They're all kind of bunched up there. But... It's not too bad. You have failed me for the last time. Maybe you just come out here. He probably can't even move. He's probably just like stuck in there until uh, till daytime. Which would be pretty funny. Okay. Okay, so how long is this going to take? 2 minutes 24. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. We can, we can do 2 minutes 24. Anything longer than that... Obviously a bit of a worry. Yeah, okay. Maximilian just, like, can't leave. I, I still find it funny, because you, like, see them pass through each other. That guy just passed through a bed. But you see them, like, pass through each other all the time. But when you tell them to walk like this, they, like, suddenly don't. Like, that guy just walks straight up the middle. That guy's walking straight up the middle right now. Like, why can't Maximilian just walk straight up the middle? Or when you... When you get one... You know, you want to execute one. Why can't they just walk straight up the middle and come to you? It, it's a weird sort of... Like, programming thing. I, I don't know why... They kind of... I don't know how they sort of do it passively, but they can't do it actively. It's very strange. Okay, let's do this now while he's gone. Okay, we have managed to dodge most of the hate there. They don't super want us dead. Oh, there's Frostanova. Okay. Oh my god, tell me she's gonna get stuck in the trap. That would be incredible. Ah, she stopped. She stopped, you bitch. You bitch. Come on, turn around and just walk back into it. What? There's a floating wrench there. How strange. Okay, no, she'll she'll get out. Damn. That was like a one shot. Oh, she's coming back for seconds. Go. One more step forward. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, bummer. Again, like, that, that was our one shot, one opportunity. She could just walk straight in there and gotten caught in that. I don't know if it would even catch her, actually. Oh, she did actually get caught in it. <gasps> yes. Oh my god. <clears throat> I caught a super agent in the super trap. Wow. That's a bit broken. I mean, again, I doubt she's going to get stuck in there forever. She probably has, like, the fortitude that she could just get back out again. Pretty, pretty comfortably. Like, it's gonna take a lot of gassing before she, she becomes stupid. Like, she's still walking around, you can see it now. She's had, like, four spins on the thing already. And she just doesn't care. But nevertheless, you know, in a way, joke's on her. She's, uh, she's making me serious bank instead of, you know being a force for justice and uh and uh you know making sure i die so that's pretty funny now 
If I like double click on her. Okay, excellent. This is Pacific FM with our weekly look at what's hot and what's not. Bill, tell us what's not hot. Well, Larry, it's number one is uh Canada. Ooh, controversial. Remember, folks, this list is voted for by you, the listener. So don't blame us. Looks like Canada is still being held responsible for the scientist at the Yukon Research Facility who defected to the evil organization. <laughs> wow. That guy sure wasn't much of a patriot. Oof. Oof. I mean, having said that, the, the joke there was obviously that, like, things that aren't hot right now. Wait. Why is that not getting activated? What? There we go. It's too late, though. She got out by, like, pure luck. Like, how... Since I've had two people there, I don't think I've ever seen it not activate. Wow. Apparently, massive, massive spouts of, of sheer luck are, uh... Uh, something that she also has as a power. User, come here. There we go. Now I can go and go and kill him. Somehow, somehow Maximilian managed to get out. Yeah, so that should cover pretty much everyone. Good. There you go. That's a boost for everybody just there. Okay, let's set up this codex knowledge. So five workers, five guards, two mercenaries. I work as five guards, uh, two mercenaries. And obviously we'll also need, like, spring eight. Uh, maybe even twelve. And we'll need, like, four of these, probably two of those. Uh, and we'll send some henchmen. We'll send, uh, one and two. Assassins have arrived to eliminate the mercenary scientists. I mean, I don't even know where the mercenary scientist is, so good luck. I, like, legitimately have no idea where he is. Oh, he's probably that one there. Yeah. Yeah, no, good luck. In the words of a great man from Taken, good luck. Because, uh... Yeah, mate, that ain't happening. And I suspect the assassins are these ones, anyway. Oh no, they're thieves. See, again, like... It's not activating. I've never seen it not activate. It's still not activating. There we go. It's absolute madness. Maybe I throw a third one in. I'll just put it in there so I can like lock them in. Yeah, no, the, these things absolutely make the game... I was going to say a ton easier, and they do make it a ton easier, but they just take out a lot of the busy work. It means that I don't... Oh, wow. <laughs> Holy shit. Never mind. I think I found the assassins. <laughs> Holy fuck. Is that seriously them? Yeah, that is, that is absolutely the assassins. Ooh. Nice. I've, I've never actually seen that before in, in any of my gameplay. I've never seen that statue. Cool. Um... Yeah, wow, send assassins. They sent, like, a hit squad. They sent the Navy SEALs. Although, I don't know what that uniform is. It looks boatly, so I'm guessing it's, like, the Marines. Like, a very old Marines uniform. I could be wrong, though. Probably am. Okay, we're gonna want to start that, like, immediately. Because they're not gonna be a big fan of this. Wow, really? Are we stealing 10 grand? Oof. Oof. That's a lot of bunts. Do we just, like, psychologically weaken these ones? 
No, it'd never stick. We don't have enough social minions to just have like 50 out there sitting on this, this squad. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't think that would stick. Okay, well, we are going to leave this episode here, I think. So, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel. If you think any friends might enjoy my content, make sure you share a video too with them. I really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback for the videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comments section down below so that I can see it. And I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.